Putin uses references to Che Guevara and Fidel Castro at a Russian event attended by the PT and four other Brazilian political parties. Members of the Brazilian Congress from the Workers' Party, PT, recently traveled to Moscow, Russia to take part in the International Parliamentary Conference on Russia and Latin America. The meeting started on the 29th and continued through today. The goal was to strengthen ties between the Russian government and Latin American countries. Leonid Slutsky, president of the Duma's International Affairs Committee, said after the meeting that the two countries' cooperation would become a locomotive in the creation of a new multipolar world order. The Duma is the lower house of the Russian parliament. In 2022, the Kremlin invaded Ukraine with the intention of annexing the country's territory. The only governments backing the annexation war were the authoritarian ones in China, Iran, and North Korea. This is why Russia is actively courting support in Latin America now. According to what Duma spokesperson Vyacheslav Volodin has revealed, 200 representatives from South America have been sent, including lawmakers from Brazil and Venezuela. According to the document obtained by Gazeta do Povo, the Brazilian parties represented at the event included the PT, PCDOB, MDB, PSD, and PSB. Social media images confirmed that representatives from the first four acronyms mentioned were present. The list also includes the vice president of the Brazilian Senate, Veneziano Vital do Rego, MDBPB, as well as members of the Brazilian delegation Araja Silvestre Filio, PSD to Arlindo Canalia Jr., PTSP, Carlos Zeratini, PTSP, Francisco Seligim, PTSP, Miguel Angelo, PTMG, Valmer Asunco, PTBA, Reginette Bispo, PTRS. Federal lawmaker Valmer Asunco, PT, posted on social media that the Brazilian delegation met with government officials from Cuba and Venezuela, both of which had attended the Russia sponsored event. References to the left including Che Guevara and Fidel Castro. Putin delivered an ideological speech to the attendees on the second day of the four-day event in Russia on Tuesday. The Russian official stated that Latin America pursues a independent policy and has the potential to play a fundamental role in global politics. In his speech, the Russian president praised several well-known illiberal dictators, saying, the Latin Americans have always struggled for independence and the history of their continent is replete with the most notable examples. In the latter half of the last century, the continent also produced selfless fighters for social justice and equality like Salvador Allende, Ernesto Che Guevara, and Fidel Castro. Putin also restated Russia's interest in strengthening ties with Latin American nations. We are convinced that promoting direct dialogue between parliaments will lead to opportunities to deepen and expand our cooperation through new areas of joint activity. Russia uses the same Chinese tactic to draw closer to Latin America. The Moscow summit, held between September 29 and October 2, was Russia's first of its kind and may have been an attempt by the Kremlin to warm relations with Latin America. Putin, who has been isolated from the international community ever since his invasion of Ukraine began more than 18 months ago, has sought support from developing nations. Putin's war has already resulted in over 200,000 deaths. Russian authorities held roundtable discussions on a variety of issues and reaffirmed their desire to strengthen ties with Latin American and Caribbean nations. Putin's approach to diplomacy is identical to that of China's Xi Jinping. The Asian superpower is getting closer and closer to countries in Latin America and Africa as it engages in a Cold War 2.0 with the United States.